What is up? In this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how to build the Outrider from Star Wars. This build is recommended to be built at your settlement landing pad as most of the pieces will be available there. However, you'll need a few pieces from the Stroud Eklund shipyards and Hope Town and New Homestead ship technicians. If you're new to the channel, be sure to stick around to the end where I'll be showcasing the final version of the build. If you want to see more themed spaceship designs, consider subscribing to the channel because I got more on the way. So with that said, let's get to it. Alright, so first up, we're going to be placing our landing bay. This is going to be the Stability Pro landing bay by Stroud Eklund. So once that's placed, we're going to connect a Stroud Cap A piece, and we're going to flip it to where it's kind of upside down, and it runs flush with this landing bay piece. But we're going to snap that right to the front of, uh, of this landing bay. And uh, from here, I ended up snapping a CE-19 missile launcher to uh, the snapping point to this Stroud Cap. So once that's placed, we're going to do another one, be another Stroud cap A piece, but we're just going to flip it around. We're going to connect it to the back side of our landing bay. From here, I got a Stroud nose cap B piece. This one's also flipped upside down. That's going to get snapped right along the side of the Stroud cap A piece. And I have a Mahler 104L auto cannon attached to this snapping point. So once that's placed, got a Stroud 2x1 half piece, and that's just going to get connected right behind this Stroud nose cap piece. From here, we're gonna be taking a, Del, uh, a Deimos belly piece. That's gonna get snapped right behind the, the Stroud two by one. And then I'm gonna be taking another Stroud cap A piece. This is gonna be snapped right to the other side of the Stroud uh, nose cap B piece. And then once again, we've got another missile launcher attached to that snapping point. And from here, instead of it being a lander or uh, a docking bay, it's going to be a landing gear this time around. This is going to be the AccuLander 11 landing gear. And uh, you're just going to have to cycle through until you get the one that runs uh, along with, uh, with these Stroud cap pieces. So we're just going to snap that there. And we also have another Stroud cap A piece, and that's going to get snapped right behind that one. All right, so now once all that's placed, bring this over here real quick. Uh, let's see, I'm going to be taking a Stroud 1x1 one one piece, and there's going to be a Hope Tech Nose B piece attached to the front of it. Those are just going to get placed right here, right above this Stroud Nose Cap B piece. We're going to snap to the first snapping point. Then going to take, let's see, this Stroud 2x2. Two two. Now this is going to be a unique piece. So this is going to be available at the Stroud Eklund shipyards. Um, and, you know, it, you can customize your ship. So if you don't want the 2x2, two two, you can substitute this out for like a 2x1 or, you know, whatever. But uh, I believe that's going to go there. Yeah, that looks correct. All right, so for then from here, got another Stroud 2x2. Two two, and this is going to get connected right next to the other one. All right, and then... Let's see, I got the Nova Cowling 2L PF piece. This is going to get snapped uh, right along the first snapping point along the side of this 2x2. This two two. Then going to take uh, the Connect Pro Docker. That's going to get snapped right behind that cowling piece. Got another cowling piece which is going to get snapped right behind this Docker Pro, or, or sorry, Docker port. And then from here, I got the Aurora 13G Grav Drive. This is going to get snapped right along the first snapping point of this cowling piece, like right behind this 2x2. Two two. Then going to take, this is going to be our shield generator, uh, shield generator, the Warden SG400 shield generator. And this is going to get snapped to this snapping point right here. So it's going to go right in front of this Deimos belly piece. I then have my reactor. This is the Ion Beam H1030 reactor, and I think this is also available at the Stroud Eklund shipyard as well. But that's going to go just right here, just right behind this 2x2 uh, this two two piece right next to our shield generator. And then going to take a Deimos bumper piece, and that's just going to get snapped right along the side of our reactor piece. And then going to run three of these uh, SAE 5660 engines. And these are just going to go right behind our grav drive shield generator and reactor pieces. Those are just going to be placed right there. And then going to take, this is going to be a Nova wing piece, and this is going to get snapped 
right to this left snapping point of this 2x2. Two two. And then now I have these, uh, the Teo end caps. And these are going to go here, but uh, we're actually going to have to uh, merge glitch these in order to place them. So in order to do that, you're just going to want to place, you know, your pieces just kind of off to the side for a split second. You're then going to select it. And then see how it snaps, but it's red. In order to place it, you're just going to rotate it. And then rotate it back. And then you deselect it. Once you deselect it, it should pop in into place right there. And then in order to snap it in, all you have to do is select it one more time, which it shows green. And then you just place it. And that should lock it in. And we're just going to do the same thing on this side. All right. And once you do that, you've successfully merged uh, those pieces together. So now from here, I got the Hope Tech Hab Cross Brace. Now this is a specialized hab piece, so this is going to be available at, uh, at the Hope Town Ship Technician. But we're going to snap that right to the, uh, the back snapping point of this 2x2. Two two. Actually, I'm going to move this over. I then have the Stroud Engine Bracer. That's going to get snapped to the next connecting point. It should be the first snapping point of this 2x2. Two two. And then I'm going to take this Stroud 2x1. And the first uh, snapping point along the side is going to get snapped to your Hab Cross Brace. Because we're going to snap these Deimos Wing E pieces along uh, both sides, these, these back snapping points. And this Hope Tech Nose B piece along the back side of it. They're going to take the Viking CP220 cockpit. And that's going to get snapped right in front of this 2x1. This and then I'm going to be taking this Deimos Wing E piece and I'm going to be snapping it along the side of the, the 220 cockpit. And you're going to want to leave a gap right here uh, for, for the next steps. So let's jump over here. I'm going to be taking this Accu-Lander, and you're going to want to rotate it to where, like, the flat end is, you know, if you're looking at your ship head-on, the flat end to, is going to be on the left-hand side, and you're just going to place that right under this 2x1. Because from here, you're going to use the, uh, the snapping point for the, the landing piece, and the hab piece, and you're going to snap this M50 Ulysses HE3 tank along the side, just like that. I'm going to be taking these NG20 landing gears. These are Nova Galactic landing gears, so these are also a special landing gear, so you're going to have to get these at the the uh, the, the, the new homestead ship technician. There for a second, I forgot what the, uh, the name of the town was, but yeah, the new homestead ship technician will carry all of your specialized Nova Galactic pieces. But you're just going to, uh, you're going to snap these uh, right under the bottom of uh, the 2 by one in your cockpit piece. All right, now from here, I'm going to be taking, this is going to be a Demo Spine A piece, a Demo Spine B piece, and another Demo Spine A piece, and you're just going to connect these to the three snapping points right above your cockpit and your 2 by one All right, bring this over here. Now moving to the top, we got a Stroud Cap A piece, and once again we have more of those same missile launchers attached to uh, the connecting points. But we got two of them, and these are going to get snapped right above our tail end caps and uh, our two by two pieces. And we got another Stroud Nose Cap B, and that's going to get snapped right in between those. And I got another Mauler 104L auto cannon attached to this uh, this snapping point, and then have a Stroud Cowling one LAST piece that's going to get snapped right behind our left Stroud Cap A then have a Galleon S204 car cargo hold and that's going to get snapped right behind this Stroud Nose Cap B piece and then going to snap this Stroud Cowling 1 LB PT piece it's it's basically the same piece but you can you can cycle through so this one has a snapping point so we're just going to we're going to place that there and then going to take an equipment plate, and this equipment plate is going to get snapped right above uh, this cargo hold piece. And I have this Mahler 106T auto cannon turret attached to this uh, this equipment plate. And that's just going to get placed there. Then have a Stroud Cap A piece. Uh, both of these pieces are just going to get snapped right here above these engines, and they're going to snap to uh, your grav drive and reactor pieces. And then I also have another Stroud Cap C piece. This is going to get snapped right in between those, and that should cover up like your shield generator portion and whatnot. But that's just going to go there. And then the last few things, 
I got these uh, Hope Tech Cap A pieces. So one of these is gonna get snapped here. You're just gonna kinda wanna go with the curve. So that's gonna get snapped right beside this Stroud cowling piece. And then you got another one on the other side which is gonna get snapped right on top of your, your Docker port. So once those are placed, that's gonna complete the build.